Hello. Oh my gosh, my hair. Thought I would hop back on real quick just to do a quick live of a haul while I was unpacking everything. Um, so I thought I would just pop on and go through the stuff that I got in Springfield um, from the extravaganza. Well, no, not the extravaganza. It was from the thrifting excursion with Misty and Michael and Richard and a bunch of other uh, people from YouTube and Instagram. So that was really fun. Um, so I thought I would just show you some of the stuff I got. And I do want to start off with showing you this beautiful vase that I got uh, from Misty and Michael and Richard. It was on my table at dinner. And she's like, everybody has a gift on the table. And so I got this beautiful, like bittersweet swung vase. Hello. I'm like, what the heck? I mean, I've had a milk glass one before. I think I still have my milk glass one. I have never found a bittersweet one or like a vibrant orange. So this is the first one that I've got. Um, and it is amazing. I don't know who makes it or anything like that, but it is gorgeous, vibrant, beautiful piece. So it's my first, my first one, and I'm very excited to have that. Um, I did find one at Jeffrey's when we left um, Urbana. I keep wanting to say Urbana. Urbana. Um, we stopped at this antique store called Jeffrey's on the way home. And I found this little red, like a um, red one with the yellow. Amberina, I think it's called. When it has the little yellow. So I guess this is like an Amberina one here too. They both have the little yellow at the top. So um, the orange one I'm keeping. It was a gift. And this red one will be available for purchase. A little tiny swung base. So I picked that up. I got this at a little antique store in downtown um, Urbana. I, I have to keep thinking about how to say it. It's Urbana. Urbana. Urbana, Ohio. There's a little antique store there, and I can't pronounce the name of it. It was really neat. Um, but this is a maple vintage maple syrup tin. I thought it would be really cute for Christmas time in your vignettes. I grabbed that. I'm going to be doing an advertising sale coming up with vintage advertising. So I did grab some advertising pieces for that sale. I got some of these no moth tins. Great for Halloween. I picked up two of those. One of them has the key inside. I guess the lid comes if you could take it out. One has the key, one doesn't. Um, but these are great. I always see Misty grab these. I never find them where I live. So I was excited to find them there. Got those two. I picked up two of these adorable paper ice cream boxes. They had a very deco look to them. Um, we grabbed these. These are probably one of the first things we grabbed um, at on uh, the shopping. And I think we got these these ice cream containers. Did we get these at Heart of uh, Ohio? I can't remember. But great advertising pieces. So these will be available in the advertising sale that we're doing. Let me show you all the little advertising pieces I got. And then we'll move on to something else. I picked up these Thayer's Slippery Elm Throat Lozenges with rose hips. The little um, display box was cute. And then I got this one too, just two different variations of it. Nature's Gentle Demel Demule Scent. I don't know. Those will be available. And my favorite thing, I think this is the very first thing I picked up at Heart of Ohio. It's a Dolly Does It Golden Sponge. And you can see her hair is the Brillo pad. Metal dishcloth, clean scours, polishes, china glassware, aluminum stoves, safe and sanitary, will not injure hands, not sold in stores. So I don't know how they sold that. 
Springfield Wire and Tinsel Company is where it is made. So that's interesting. There was a wire and tinsel company in Springfield. Very cute item though, Dolly does it. That'll be part of the advertising sale. What else, did I pick up any other advertising pieces? I don't think so. And I have a weird selection here of items, very weird. It's all over the place. And when we were at this um, get together, people, well, what do you collect? I'm like, I'm all over the board. Starting with this guy here. <laughs> I don't even know why I got him. I think for Halloween, he still has the tap, a string around him. Let me grab the scissors real quick. Cause I'm just now unboxing this stuff. We got home yesterday, late afternoon. And so I haven't really had a chance to do much. And I had a live sale this morning. This says, you love me only for my body. And it's this little troll guy. I don't know. I thought he was really cute for Halloween. Well, he's not cute, but you get, I thought he would be cute to um, use for Halloween. He doesn't like to make eye contact. You don't want to look at the camera. There you go. I don't know who makes him. It's a little bobblehead guy. I thought he was funny. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Um, vintage strawberry shortcake. This is a strawberry shortcake wallet that I grabbed. I don't even know if this has a date on it. MCMLXXX. It's made in Hong Kong though, probably 70s, 80s, I'm guessing, but it is brand new in the package. Strawberry Shortcake Wallet. Um, these two other little things I received from Misty and Michael and Richard in our goodie bag. Um, I got this little tiny pitcher, hand painted pitcher, really cute. And this, um, I think it's a Tonala mushroom, Tonala Mexico. And it's perfect because it's a little shaker, but you can put your hat pins in it if you wanted to, if you didn't want to use it as a shaker. So that is adorable too. So thank you very much for those little gifts. I think they're lovely. All right, I do ephemera sales as well. So I did grab some ephemera pieces um, to add to my ephemera lots. I have a whole stack of letters here, 1940s. I don't know how far back they go, but I grabbed a whole lot of letters. These will end up in ephemera packs. These vintage cards here, super index cards, still in the package, were originally 10 cents. These will end up in an ephemera lot for home and office use. I got a bunch of these religious cards here. Um, bought some stacks of them. I think there's two different designs. And I bought two stacks of each. And we'll save those paper clips. And there are these vintage religious cards here. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is, oh, that's a bird feeder. Yeah, let's see if I get a part for it. Sing unto the Lord a new song for thy hath done wonderful things. Mm -hmm. So I have a stack of this, that version. And then Jesus Sleeps is the other one I got. And they're little individual cards that would have been given out maybe at church or maybe to put in your Bible. I don't know. But I did grab two of those for my ephemera lots. I got a pack of postcards. Of course, when I see postcards, I got to grab them. Daytona Tourist Park, Daytona Beach, Florida. 
um, no date and it's unused. Breakers in the sunset. Moonlight magic on the ocean. Moonlight, a lot of moonlight ones, which I really like. Greetings from Northeast Maryland, Moonlight. This is beautiful. A charming lily pool in the heart of Florida. Totally reminds me of Florida for sure. Look at that. Can you imagine that framed? They're almost like little lithos, these vintage postcards. Um, and they're unused, made in USA. Lillian G. Dana Memorial Fountain River Front Park, Daytona Beach, Florida. This one's gorgeous. The moonlight on the water. One doesn't have a title. Lakeshore scenes. Gorgeous. A sudden mood of a sunset sea. And then greetings from Northeast Maryland. These are Kurt Trike and Company Incorporated. So a mom and some children going into the surf there. Just a really good lot of postcards. These will make it into ephemera lots. So if you buy ephemera lots from me, you, you could be getting some of those in your lot. I'll, I do mystery lots a lot of times. Um, so you could be getting some of that stuff. I also grabbed a bunch of fans, two different styles. These here were just for fun. Cool it with music. Um, they're the paper fans. Had a very like retro look on them marked Groman's Key Music Company and it's Cool It with Music and it's Wurlitzer. Very 70s looking. Kind of groovy, right? So I have some of those. Set those up here. And then I got some funeral fans too. Some, I bought two different types. I bought all of them I could find with this design on it just because I loved it so much. It's the Guardian Angel. And these are Pelter Funeral Home. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wing, wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Pelter Funeral Home. The phone number is 262 so that shows you how old these are. I do have four of those available. They're in really nice condition. These will be in, in ephemeral lots. And then I got one of these. And this is, again, is Peltzer Funeral Home phone 262 one of those. So those are all the paper fans. Got through that. I grabbed some little plushies. This one, Muffy Vanderbear. I love her. Um, kind of grew up with her. I've never seen this one here. She still has her tag and she is the Muffy Mouse. The Christmas Mouse, right? She's got her little mouse mask on. She has little cheese slippers in her tail with her stocking. So she's a little Christmas mouse. I thought she would be really cute to put out at Christmas time. Um, so I grabbed her. She's adorable. This one um, vendor had a bunch of Muffy Vanderbear. And I looked through. They had a Beethoven one, which was really cute too. But I, I just was drawn to this little mouse. So I grabbed her. I grabbed her. She was so cute. I did get this bunny rabbit. And again, I'm, I don't know why. She's just adorable. Something about her. I don't even know if she's like a name brand bunny. But it was just her little like squishy look of her. And she is jointed. So her arms and legs. But it was her little face was so cute. Ooh, she does bend. So she's got to be a name brand one. She's fully jointed. Her ears are wired. Um, and just her little face. So I got this tiny little bunny. 
bunny, bunny, bunny. Handmade little chicks. Let me cut the tags off these. I couldn't leave them behind. It's after Easter, but I can use these next year. Here, these little hand crocheted chicks and you put your little egg inside. I got the pair of them. We picked these up at the little, there's a little antique mall that is right next to the restaurant where we stayed and um, I forget the name of the place, but they had really cute stuff. I actually, hi Jerry, I actually bought bar stools there too and we tried to use them at today's sale, but they're a little bit too tall. So I'll probably list them on Marketplace, but we tried. The table's a little too short for the chairs. I did get a, a lot of nativity animals and people. So we'll offer these at Christmas time. Got through all the plush. Easter. Two of these plastic Easter bowls. So I'll put that with my Easter stuff. The bunny can go with that too. I grabbed this thinking it was just so cute. This tiger and it's got the red eyes, but I didn't know if it was a radio or what it was. It turns out it's an auto blinker. And so you would put this, you would hook this up to your car's blinkers and put it in the back window of your car. And when you were driving, um, its eyes would blink which way you were going. So it would, it's like a detector. Its eyes are like a, a blinker basically for a car. So I thought that was super cute. Even if you don't use it for a blinker, it's still very cute. A couple more paper items. I got this book here. Gino picked it out. And it's a children's book. Very cute. Um, the age on this, I think it's 40s. It's MCM XLI. It's probably 1940s is what I'm guessing. But this is available um, in an upcoming sale. It could be available actually on Wednesday because I'm having more books for sale on Wednesday. And so I may add this in. I can't really cut the string with my left hand. There it goes. I'll pull that out. Gino found the scrapbook, which was really cool. And it is from 1946. It's so well done. And it goes through the life of like this baby in the 40s. So there's really cute stuff in here. It goes through her getting married and having kids and just really, really neat scrapbook from 1946. Um... I got a children's party games, 1953, this is Whitman, and I didn't even really look this over that well, so I'm not quite sure. I just grabbed it real quick, party games, it looks like there's a pin in the tail on the donkey in here, there's some card games too. Magic Tricks. That's really neat. 36 cards. Fun at your party. The other one is Answer or Else. I love that bunny. I know. It's so cute. Answer or else, how many days are there in a leap year? You have to answer or else. The answer is how much? The answer is 366. It tells you right there. Now over here, there's a penalty. If you get it wrong, you get the penalty, which is sing a song while holding your nose. So... <laughs> 
So this is a fun little card game answer or else. I guess this is 1950s on the set. Let's see what else we got here. Riddle Master. Um, are you talking about the bunny? This Riddle Master. You have questions and then answers. So that's kind of cool. What gets wet as it dries? A dish towel. And then the other card game here. There's one more. Dipsy. It'll be available um, at an upcoming sale, probably an ephemera sale. I'll include it or a toy sale. I haven't had a chance to do any research on it, which I keep my prices low anyway, but I like to know where about to start it. What do you do at school? Study hard. So this is a, it's called Dipsy Answers. And then there's a couple other things in here. Let me just see what this is. Oh, it's a memory test. You can see it's still in the box there. Let's see if I can get it out without wrinkling it or dropping everything. Let's see. Oh, the tails for the donkey are in here. This is a memory test. There's stuff on the back too. Oh, it's got the little nail in here for the, t for the tail on the donkey. There's a nail. And these are the tails. And you have some that's uncut in there. So that's a fun little children's party game. It's like all inclusive, man. You got everything in there to hold up a birthday party or something, right? This is 25 party games. And so there's a bunch through this whole book. And that's what the box looks like. Really cool. I like that a lot. So yeah, that'll be available soon, very soon. Um, what do I want to show next? Let me show these. I picked up two bags of this old plastic toys. I have to go through these yet. This one's mostly like cars and vibrant little plastic pieces. And this one's like animals and farm equipment and just fun stuff. So I'm going to do that when I finish up here, see what we got. And I'll put together some little fun lots of them. An amazing thing that I got, and there is some damage, but I bought it anyway because I liked it that much, is this coffee set, or it could be a hot cocoa set because this is the picture for it. And I have to take off this price tag thing. Those. Since the nozzle's up high, I wasn't sure if it was hot cocoa. There is no lid on it, but there's really no place for a lid to sit. So I, I don't know if it originally came with a lid. But this is signed, Dellen Barlahone or something but it is signed by the artist there on the bottom. I have to look it up. You get the picture. You get two, four, six of these little cups. Aren't those beautiful? And each one is signed on the bottom. One of them does have a little chippy on the bottom that I noticed. I think it's just this one right here. Yeah, it's not very noticeable, but it's on the bottom corner. 
so you can't really see it unless you're really looking for it and then you get the sugar covered sugar and this has two cracks on either side so that is where the damage was um, but I liked it so much I bought it anyway because are you really going to use it you're probably just going to display it right and um, it displays really nice you can't really see the cracks and again it is signed on the bottom I thought it was a beautiful set I haven't looked up the artist yet but I love the colors on it I thought it was so cute I've had a lot of people ask for hat pins so we picked up some hat pins we have this long and this is metal the rose is metal this long metal rose got this bumblebee and the, the um, wings are see-through that has its little cap on the bottom that one I thought was really pretty and then I just the other ones this is like a um, another rose here know what the material is for this rose but it was really unusual and it's a shorter pin so it fits nicely into one of these like little salt and peppers this one's just a black tipped hat pin and then this one's a metal ball on the end And they fit really nicely in the little salt and pepper. I did all that, that. I think I just have one thing left, and it is my lamp that I bought. Oh no, I have two things. I got this cute little doll, and she is damaged. What does it say on her back? She got some damage, but I'm going to put a pink tutu on her. And you won't really see it. You can see she has some glue on her legs down here. She has a sweet little face. I looked all weekend for these and everyone kept getting them before I could get to them. Or they were too expensive. But she is signed on the back, made in Japan. Here. And you can see the damage down here. But hopefully if I put a tutu on her, look at her little tushy. <laughs> I thought she was cute. So I grabbed her. And then the other item I got is this cupy lamp. I've never seen a lamp before. Look how old the cord is. Super old, so I don't know if I'll be able to use it as a lamp, but I'm going to repaint her so she looks less weird, less creepy, because look at her face. But that's where the light bulb goes, right in there. So, yeah. I'm going to work on her. Maybe I'll restart her tomorrow, but she is super creepy for sure. And she's on this little pedestal. The problem is, look how the cord goes in. It goes right into the, like, they put this cord on when they made her. Back in probably like the 30s or 40s, I'm assuming. So she's quite old. Had a really ugly red lampshade with her. I left that behind because I just wanted her. So I don't know if I'll snip this off and just, I don't think you're going to be able to, to you're not going to be able to use that cord. Look at it. It's all taped up. It's old. So, but she is really, really cool. So I want to get some fresh paint on her, make her a little, she's got her little wings on the back. Um, She's just a really interesting piece. I think she's chalk or maybe ceramic. I can't really tell. But anyway, this was what I got in Urbana and in Springfield and at Jeffrey's on the way home. So we went to several different antique stores, malls. All of that fun stuff. So it was a whole 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday of thrifting. It was a long weekend, but it was so much fun. I can't wait to go back. If you ever get the chance to go, go and stay at the, the inn. It was beautiful. I just dropped my scissors. The, um, I'm probably going to say it wrong. Sciota. I'm probably saying it wrong. I've been saying it wrong all weekend. I think it's the Sciota Inn. And it's in Urbana in downtown, walking distance to everything, restaurants, stores, um, whatever you're looking for. They have it. They have bakeries. It was really nice. Um, so definitely give it, give it a look-see online. You won't be disappointed. I found a nail and I'm not quite sure. I think this goes with that board game. I'm just going to toss it. So anyway, I thought I'd pop on here. I did do a sale earlier, but I thought, oh, I'm unboxing everything, so I might as well show it while I do that. But I have to work in just a little bit, so I'm going to get going on um, a few things before work. And I hope to see you guys here on Wednesday for a book sale. So stop back and see me on Wednesday. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.